Hey everyone, this is Stoic here from the channel No Life Corner and today I am going to be making a video called the top 10 things that I find dumb and tired on fanfiction. Ignore the 11-ish, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, I was making this video like late at night so I apologize. <laughs> I clearly have nothing better to do with my life. But uh, I apologize also in advance that I'm not a great artist so don't expect any great art like works of art in this video, it's really poor drawing. <laughs> Um, but anyway, at number one, I'm going to be pretty much discussing the ever popular, the coffee shop romance. This is one that absolutely baffles my mind. Because with the coffee shop, it's, there's hundreds of these suckers on fanfiction. And on fanfiction, you have endless possibilities of stories and just a creativity to come up with. And every time, these usually get a fair decent amount of hits and I just don't get it because it kind of follows this, like the same formula. There's a person working in a coffee shop. They usually hate their job or they like it and they, their love interest walks in, being the customer, and they usually will bicker, or they get along very well, or it's love at first sight, or they're kind of like snarky and sassy together. And eventually one of them will write, like, will write a little message on their little cup, like Starbucks style. And it's just, uh, I'm so bored of these because they're everywhere. <laughs> like every fandom I looked up, it's like, why? Can we have something different? And then at number two, we have the sex pollen fanfic. So these are beyond weird, okay? Uh, basically how it goes is that there's two characters who the most part, they're fighting, and then one of them will happen to back the other character into a tree or a bush, basically some sort of plant. And when they accidentally stab it or whatever, it releases this like uh, the spore, which somehow increases the character's sex drive. They happen to like desperately, they can't help it. It's like a drug, right? And they bang each other like rapids. This is disturbing to me, this trope, because I can't help it. I know it's fan fiction, you could do whatever the fuck you want with it. But I think to myself, what if there was a kid around? What if there was like an elderly person around or a family member? It's just so fucking wrong. And it goes in the territory of being non-consensual that I, I really don't like this because it's, <laughs> a little bit i don't know i'm just not a fan of this trope it's it's too creepy for me and then on number three we have the authors bashing characters this really does annoy the crap out of me because my problem with this one is that you can tell when an author clearly has beef of a character they have like some authors have like weird personal vendettas against certain characters and they will write them horribly out of character they'll take a character's like bad traits and just magnify that by like uh, like 10 or times 100. And they almost write them like borderline villains sometimes. They get humiliated, they're hated by everyone by the end of the story, and it's like, haha, tee hee, back in their face. And it's just shit writing, guys. Like, it does irk me. Even characters I hate within a certain media, it's like, just no, it, it, it's terrible. And please ignore my OCC that I drew there. I meant to be that out of character, but again, I wrote, I made this late at night. And then at number four, we have high school slash college AUs. All right, so I've read quite a few of these. I'll admit that I'm quite guilty for it, but now I don't anymore because they're all the same. And again, it's like you have this endless list of possibilities on fan fiction and what's the one to do? They're, they have like a certain character formula. You have like the pretty handsome one, the beef like jockey guy. You have the one who's like the comedian of the group constantly making up the jokes and stuff. And then you have the straight man or the goth one or you know, just the kind of the more normal one of the group. And then of course you have the dickhead for some reason it's gonna be the love interest and he's all tough and shit. And it's just, these are so, boring they're all the same and once you read like five of them you've read all of them at this point honestly they they're there's only so much you can do in this kind of setting so it's just very tiresome this trope and then we have the alpha beta beta sorry and omega fanfics this is another one, obviously. Like, everything on this list I'm not a fan of, but this one is just fucking stupid. There's no other better way of putting this, because basically the premise follows is that some authors would write these characters as if, like, they have animalistic characteristics, so one of them will be the Omega, and one of them will be the Alpha, and the Omega's, like, passive and docile, and oh my god, and the Alpha is like, dominant and sexy and just, like, really alluring. He's like, oh damn, I want that Omega, because damn, she looks good, or she smells fine, and and then sometimes she'll be like, no, I don't want to, but I'm, I'm feisty, rawr, and eventually she'll give in to his sex appeal, and it's just so fucking... 
it's just lame. And sometimes they'll include like marking and biting one another. And it's just, it's so incredibly dumb, especially that Omegas and wolf packs are actually forbidden to me by alphas. So just no. And then at number six, we have harem slash poly fanfics. Poly fanfics actually, I don't like them because personally I don't believe in the idea that all three people can equally love each other. That's bullshit. I'm sorry that, that that's not how life works guys. But harem is one I really truly do despise because you have this one character and all these characters just love this character. This character is not interesting, it's not even that good looking, and even if it had all those, it's just like why? Why? It's just so fucking forced. Again, and they usually come up with a dumbass reasoning. It's like, you're the strongest one in their entire group. Therefore, you we're low in the population. You have to mate with the strongest person. And get the shit out of here. <laughs> I just really don't like harem. And then at number seven, we have the reader with characters. If you ever want to have a really truly awkward and uncomfortable experience, I highly recommend you to read one of these because as it follows, it's just, it's like the experience of like, of having a romance with a fictional character. It just baffles me that someone like something that doesn't exist so much that they need this sort of escapism. It's like, so uh, he's looking at you, he's giving you that look, and then he was he gets really close to you and he's like, hey babe, wanna make out? And it'll lead to like some weird kiss session or sometimes even more, and it's like, ugh, it's just so weird. Like people, go out there and find your own romance like in real life. But speaking of real life, there are stories with authors with real people. That's right, you heard me. Oh my God, <laughs> this is by far the most disturbing on the list because these are real people, all right? These are not fictional characters and it'll always be of like YouTubers, celebrities, um, boy bands and shit. And I, I don't feel like I can really say much more about this. It just speaks for itself. Like I remember I read the story years ago. Um, I was really intrigued because the it, it sounded insane to me. Like I couldn't believe it at the time, but basically it was about this girl and she just is an average girl and suddenly One Direction is her neighbors and they're all vying for her attention because gosh darn, she's just so pretty and bland and boring and everything else. And uh, I just don't get it. I don't get this. Like take your celebrity crush out of fan fiction for the love of God. It's cringy. It's awkward. It's very disturbing. <laughs> so uh, just no. Avoid this one, please. And then of course we have having an OC within a story. Now OCs in my opinion, I actually don't have too much, too much beef with this one because I've read many stories with really good OCs. My problem though, is I come across way too many stories, unfortunately with terrible OCs. And these ones are usually like are super supportive and they're such a good loyal friend and they're so reliable and they, they're always there and everyone just gets along with them because gosh darn, they're just so amazing at what they do. And a lot of the time they're not even necessary to a story. Like if you took that OC out of there, you could easily insert a character that already exists within that fandom or that universe, whatever it is you're writing in, right? So I just find the whole thing with an OC to be pointless. It's almost like a self insert or a friend insert. I have no idea, but for the most part, I think it takes quite a bit of talent to write an OC well and actually works within a story. And then lastly, we have body switch fanfics. Body switch fanfics are weird. I can't say much about it. Like usually, you know, you'll have two characters. They're just chilling. Everything's normal. And usually due to some bullshit magic fantasy circumstances, they switch bodies with one another. Initially, they're horrified, uh, understandably, but then give them a little bit of time and they're like, ooh, I want to explore my body because it's my love interest body. I'm kind of turned on by this. And it's like, hey, hey, babe, get over here. Let's have uh, some sexy times together. It's like, oh, it's so weird. I just... It's not the most terrible thing, let's be for real, but I just, I, I don't like it. I don't like this one. It's very, ew, just, I want nothing to do with this. And um, yeah, that's about it for the top 10, personally for me, that I can think of that I'm just not a fan of, or I find really boring and tiresome at this point. Um, but in all reality, guys, we all have our guilty pleasures. Like there is some I mentioned on this list that I've read fanfics of that I have enjoyed, like the college AUs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They can be well done. Um, so please don't take any personal offense if any of you have actually written any of these stories with these tropes, because tropes we cannot avoid 
um, again, and besides, you shouldn't even care about my own opinion anyway. I'm only one fucking random person on the internet. Honestly, if just keep writing awesome fanfic stories and keep making us shippers happy because there are hundreds and thousands, uh, not this bullshit, thousands of people out there who will, all those tropes I mentioned, they, they love them clearly because they keep coming back to them. So um, yeah, you know, just keep on writing and um, keep fueling our shipping hearts with awesomeness and a little smiley face and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.